first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Cynthia Gunarto. Currently, I'm pursuing my doctoral degree in National Taiwan University of Science and Technology. The outline of, of this study have five main parts, which is introduction, objectives, materials and methods, and results, which is consists of pseudotonary phase diagram and stability of microemotions, and the last main part is conclusions. Drug were categorized into four class according to biopharmaceutical classification system, abbreviated as BCS. Class 1 has high permeability and high solubility, therefore this type of drugs would be well absorbed. Class 3 has high solubility but low permeability. Class 4 for both of permeability and solubility are low, while for class 2 it has high permeability but low solubility. In this study, we would like to focus on BCS class 2 drug. To improve the solubility of the drug, a matrix is needed to carry the drug into the human body. There are several types of drug carriers such as liposomes, solid nanoparticles, nanoemulsions, and also microemulsions. Microemulsions basically is a combination between oil water phase and with addition of surfactant and co-surfactant to decrease the surface tensions between the oil and water phase. Microemulsion has the transparent color one phase and it is thermodynamically stable. The oil phase in the microemulsion would be beneficial in order to improve the BCS class 2 drug solubility. Therefore, the stability of microemulsion before drug encapsulation is essential to be studied. We use castor oil as lipophilic phase, twin 20 or twin 80 as surfactant, ethanol or glycerol as surfactant, and di water as hydrophilic phase. Castor oil was used because it possesses an anti-inflammatory properties from its triglyceride, which is resinolic acid. Twin 20 or twin 80 as surfactant were used due to it is the harmless material and also for the ethanol and glycerol was used as, were used as the co-surfactant because it is a non-toxic material and could improve the drug solubility. So, in this, mic so this microemotion hopefully can be applied for pharmaceutical application. In this research, we would like to focus on the stability of microemotion synthesized from castor oil as lipophilic phase twin 20 or twin 80 as surfactants, co-surfactant or ethanol or glycerol as co-surfactant, and di water as the hydrophilic phase. Therefore, the objectives of this study are to construct the pseudoternary phase diagram of system containing castor oil as lipophilic phase, water as hydrophilic phase, and various surfactant and co-surfactant, abbreviated as S-mix ratios. Second objective is to determine the characterization of selected microemulsion in different S-mix ratios. And the last objective is to study the microemulsion stability after 35 days storage. The materials used for this research are as follow. The procedure of this research initially by mixing of surfactant and co-surfactant to obtain the S-mix. Then the X-mix was blended with castor oil as oil phase in various weight ratio. And after that it was mixed with vortex by vortex mixer for 30 seconds. Finally, the DI water was added dropwise into the mixture and the serotonary phase diagram could be plotted. From this diagram, the selected microemulsion composition within the black region was analyzed and stored for 35 days. The characterization was conducted by DLS measurement, UV phase for the percent transmittance analysis, and physical observation. Here is the results of the experiments. The first one is the pseudoternary phase diagram. The pseudoternary phase diagram was constructed in to acknowledge the proportion of each component in microemulsion, 
which is castor oil, surfactant mixture, and also the DI water. In this graph, the black color region is a microemulsion area. There are two types of surfactants and co-surfactants used, twin 20 and twin 80 as surfactant, while ethanol and glycerol as co-surfactant. From this left upper side, we could see that the microemulsion synthesized from twin 20 as surfactant and ethanol as co-surfactant. And the code of T2E4 means that the surfactant mixture of 4, which is which consists of 4 of twin 20 and 1 of ethanol. And for the code of T2E5 means surfactant mixture of 5. The summary of quantitative area of for certain phase diagram are shown in this table. The selection of surfactant mixture 4 and 5 is according to the study of Dekani et al. on 2017. From this table, we could see that the largest microemulsion area was obtained by mixture of twin 80 as surfactant and ethanol as co-surfactant with surfactant mixture ratio of 4, which is around 16.7% of microemulsion area, while the least microemulsion area was obtained by twin 80 as surfactant and glycerol as co-surfactant with s mix ratio of 4 with microemulsion area of 4.8%. From this table, we could see that the utilization of glycerol as co-surfactant has smaller microemulsion area compared to the ethanol as co-surfactant. And by addition of ethanol as co-surfactant, more surfactant amount, which is surfactant mixture 5, tends to have smaller microemulsion area. And this result is contradictive with glycerol as co-surfactant. For the characterization of microemulsion was done by DLS analysis. From this measurement, particle size, fault dispersity index, abbreviated as PDI, and zeta potential values were obtained. The selected microemulsion in its formulations are stated in the table. For particle size and PDI, each of them measure at day 1 and also after day 35. From literature, we could know that the particle size with less than 200 nanometer are considered as microemulsion according to Lee et al. on 2012. And from this table, we could see that the glycerol as co-surfactant tends to produce particle size larger than 200 nanometer and higher PDI value was observed for these samples. For the selected microemulsions with ethanol as co-surfactant showed stable even after 35 days storage. While for the zeta potential results, all samples have negative value due to the utilization of non-ionic surfactant, and the higher magnitude would prevent agglomeration as the study of Pakang et al. on 2018. The microemulsion remains relatively stable even after 35 days storage according to the zeta potential value. However, from the particle size, from the previous result particle size and PDI value, only microemulsion with ethanol as co-surfactant were proceed into further analysis, which is the stability study. Stability study was conducted by person transmitted by UV fish instrument at 650 nanometer before and after the centrifugation in order to give the quantitative transparency. From the figure and also the percent, transparent, percent transmittance result, no precipitant, no color changes, and transparent were observed. So, the conclusions of this research are the pseudoternary phase diagrams of microemulsions from castor oil as oil phase were successfully constructed. Microemulsion were characterized by measuring particle size, polydispersity index, and zeta potential. The selected microemulsions with ethanol as co-surfactant showed stable after 35 days storage. For the last but not the least, I would like to thank my advisor, Professor E. Suju, as Assistant Professor Artik Elisa Angkawijaya, and Assistant Professor Alcris Wuku. I also would like to and also for the all of the E2820 lab member. 
And I also would like to thank Ministry of Science and Technology of Taiwan for supporting this work. Thank you for listening and plus thank you AOCS for holding this virtual annual meeting and for all of the hard work.